Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we are going to understand another example of HTML and CSS experiments. And this is uh, a rotation navbar, so rotating navbar. Okay. So it will be like this. So you have some content and you also have an icon top left corner. And uh, the moment you click on this particular icon, uh, it will turn around like this. It will rotate uh, the entire content like this. and uh, so you can able to see the navigation over here. So once you click on the close button, it scales back. Okay. So this is uh, so this is an interesting feature which we are going to develop now. Um, so let's start for this. Uh, before we start, uh, please do subscribe to my channel to don't miss out these type of interesting videos. Uh, let's let's jump into the code. So first of all, I will. Uh, uh, create a folder for this example as 0 to hyphen um, rotating navbar. So I need here one uh, HTML that is index. And I also need one style sheet, style.css, and I also need one JavaScript that is script.js. Okay, and uh, I also need a one image. I'll get it from outside that is uh, this card one. Okay, I'll just add it to this create a folder image and then I'll have one image as well. Okay, that's fine. So now here I will connect the style.css and also I'll write a script src uh, script.js for JavaScript and this is for styles and this is your HTML. So let's say in the title rotating. Uh, let's say navigation. Okay, so let me open this in a browser. So right click open with the browser or else I will use the live server. So if you have Node.js installed, you can start using live server. Uh, this like uh, we are opening HTML on a browser, but without require of uh, refresh. Okay, um, that's fine. So this is the example we are going to develop now. So for this, we need to have a HTML structure. So what I do is first I need to start with this button section. Uh, and also one more thing here is um, this is icon. So if you want to have this icon, we need to import uh, icons package. So for that, I go with uh, font awesome. So just type font awesome CDN font awesome cdn um, you will get the font awesome cdn link so you can just copy this back here i'll say so link tag and the font awesome okay so you can start using the font awesome icons okay fine now let's start um yeah first of all this part okay so i'll do here is dot uh, buttons container okay it's a buttons container in that dot buttons you have actually two buttons like bars and then this cross symbol right these two so in this buttons i'll create a button tag with the class called open okay it's an open button i tag with the class fe hyphen fe minus uh, bars okay so you get the bars icon and also let's copy this and paste it this is the close button i'll give a fea minus times so that is for the close close button okay so i think yeah that's it for the button section and then we have uh, this content okay so below that i'll write uh, container in that content uh, what is a content you, you just have a simple content uh, you have a heading uh, some paragraph image and paragraph so let's say h2 welcome to css and a paragraph of lorem 50 words and i have an image src in my image folder slash uh, card one dot jpg and also have a paragraph uh, lorem 50 tab okay so we have it uh, let's check yes you have a heading paragraph and all's fine 
okay that's fine and then lastly we have this part here the navigation section so let's add a navigation section at the end so let's add a nav tag with a class called nav okay you can give any class over here and in that i have a ul li and anchor tag let's say some hash uh, in this i have an icon with the class fe minus fe minus home so we have a home icon so let's check yes you have a home icon same way i have multiple uh, list items so let's copy so fea minus user this will be about and fea minus n envelope uh, this will be um, contact something like that contact okay so i refresh yes i have a uh, but envelope i think e okay so it's it's a spelling okay so fine i have icons and yeah so html structure is ready now and now let's start with um the styles like this so first we'll start with this part and then uh, and then this section and then uh, we'll start with this navigation bar okay so let's start so first of all this uh, buttons um what is that so it's a button container and button so before i proceed i'll go to styles first i'll add a star for margin zero and the padding zero for all so now let's add it for uh, um yep so let's add for the body tag uh, i'll add a font family uh cam calibri okay <coughs> uh that's fine and let's also have a background color of black for the whole body tag i given a background color as black and uh, text yeah so why i have given a background color black is a sense see here when you expand this whole body has uh, having a background color of black so i have given that uh, but uh, just for time being i give gray because uh, uh, my content is not visible okay yep so now let's start applying the styles for these buttons okay so what is that a buttons container buttons okay so let's start with the buttons container buttons container so here i'll add uh, um, width some 200 pixels and the height of 200 pixels okay and also let's give some background color background color of uh, some orange red color okay and also <coughs> let's give some rounded circle that is border radius uh, 50 percent so you get the rounded uh, but I want uh, uh, I want to have a fixed position so that these guys can be absolute and can provide on top of it because I need this icons to be on this circle okay so I say position is fixed and where it is fixed is at the top uh, 0 and uh, top 0 and the left is 0 position it is fixed and what about these two uh, these two uh, that is actually a uh, buttons right so dot buttons container dot buttons so all the buttons I will say position is uh, absolute and uh, absolute top uh, uh, some 60 or just say top 100 and the left 100 pixels okay so at this location and i don't need the whole circle over here i want the whole circle to be uh, somewhere on the top and left so you want to bring that off uh, somewhere in this corner you can make the top as minus some 60 pixels and also left minus 60 pixels so it's go uh, somewhere inside of uh, this part this this location okay uh, that's fine but uh, I, uh, this buttons i want to have this style okay so that is uh, <coughs> it's a button tag okay so let's say dot buttons uh, space the button tag 
where uh, I don't need the background just say background to be transparent and uh, I don't need the border just say border none okay and let's change the color that is uh, white and I have a white color and just increase the font size of it bit <coughs> so font size uh, I'll say some 40 pixels okay so that's fine so you have all this but I just want to display only either one okay either bars or the cross so for the cross I'll give a close tag I mean close the class so I'll do like this dot button space uh, <coughs> dot close I'll say display none so close button was removed or you only have a this icon okay this part is done and the next part is uh, this text okay with some white color background and all this okay so this text is actually a class name of uh, container and content so let's start with that container container so my container background color to be white background white okay and uh, let's give some padding because it's there is no space around it let's give some padding of some 20 pixels okay and uh, <coughs> or let's give some 50 pixels and uh, this thing I want to keep it center so there is a class called content so I say dot container space dot content I will uh, give with some 1000 uh, pixels 1000 pixels and margin auto so if you say margin auto it comes at the center of your page okay and what about this heading that is I guess h2 so uh, I'll copy this sequence space h2 let's say the font size some 40 pixels 40 pixels let's change the color let's say color orange red and what about the paragraph paragraph I will uh, copy again this is the paragraph let's say the font size of 20 uh, 20 pixels and let's give the color of uh, some gray color let's also give some margin uh, some 20 pixels and zero so 20 pixels top and bottom and left and right is zero because I just have to give a space extra around it okay and finally you have a <coughs> uh, image with rounded uh, corners so I will copy the same this is image tag um, border radius of uh, 20, 20 pixels okay that's fine yep so the content is ready now um, so the content is ready so next step is um, whenever I click on this see uh, the actual one is when I click on this it should rotate like this okay so this is actually a class we will apply for the whole container when I click on it it shows the navigation if I click again it hides the navigation so this does depend on uh, the class name will just add and remove okay so it is looks like this for example for my container I'll add extra class called show nav okay so whenever this particular class has been added so this must be rotated okay so what I do is for uh, container dot show nav uh, what I do is uh, transform rotate of 20 degrees okay uh, it rotates in this way but I want to rotate in minus okay so it's been rotated but I want to have a rotate at top left corner so I'll say uh, transform origin uh, stop uh, left corner okay so let's check this is transform origin but uh, still this has gone behind of it um, so I want to have a Z index to be more uh, which come in the front 
um, that will be buttons container so I'll say Z index will be 100 so it comes in in front or oh, not buttons I guess it's buttons container yeah here okay it comes in front and yeah this is how it will rotate okay so now let's focus on this part this this navigation to be on the uh, this part this location so for the HTML we have a nav class and all this links so let's start with dot nav um, dot nav position is fixed and uh, um, so at left zero and uh, at bottom bottom 40 pixels location okay and uh, 40 pixels location and this um, ul so dot nav space ul i'll say list style type none you don't need to have this dots and also um, the okay let's have some space so dot nav space ul space uh, li i'll add some padding of uh, some 15 uh, pixels okay and uh, what else this anchor tags uh, and also meanwhile i don't need this color i want to be black color for the background of body let's say black now okay yeah so what about this links uh, so that is dot nav space a I'll say color white and also text to decoration none okay and let's add some font size around some 20 pixels okay that looks good okay fine so one last thing is uh, if I remove the class called show nav, it will be like this. And once I add a class called uh, show nav, then it will rotate like this. So I want this to happen when I click on this particular uh, button. So let's make this thing in a uh, JavaScript. So as of now, I don't need this. So I need open button, close button, and a container. Let's go to script let's open elements is equal to document dot uh, query selector of dot open is my class and same like that we have a close element that is with a class called dot close and I also have let uh, uh, container element is equal to document dot query selector of dot container okay so you have three things so whenever i click on the open it should rotate so i say open element dot add event listener of click so when the click happens on when the click happens on uh, open uh, this icon so i want to add a class so let's say for what for container elements dot class list dot add is a function so what is the class show nav is a class okay so let's check when i uh, not that one this one when i click on it see so it adds okay it, it it's rotates but uh, there is no smooth transition you don't have a smooth transition for the container you can add um translate uh, transition all 0.5 seconds and some linear so if you add some transition effect so you get some smooth transition like this okay that's fine um, it is like this rotate like this and when I click again it's not coming back but for that when I click on this it rotates and then we need to have a close symbol when you click on that it's come back so I'll make another one so when I click on a close element then remove the class okay so it's come back uh fine when i click on it it goes away but when i click again it's not come back because there's no close button so what i do is once i click on this it rotates along with that i want to uh, delete i mean 
hide this button show that close button so that I can click on close button it comes this back to original location so what to do is when open button is click then the close elements dot style dot uh, display property to be block so what happens when I click on it when I click on it so close will be visible but I want to hide this guy so open elements dot style style dot display to be none so if I say none it it hides sir. okay close will be visible open will be hidden so let's check click on it yes if I click on close it's come back click again it's nothing happened because I want to repeat this in a reverse order so when I click on close so close will be uh, hidden and open will be visible okay so let's check now I refresh so when I click on it yes this way and this way okay so I have it and I click on it it rotates like this and like this okay so now we have made this example so that's very simple and uh, please try to have this type of experiments and uh, so let's meet in the next video for another new concepts thank you so much and please do subscribe to my channel thank you